My name is Stephen Van Skyver. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering here at uh, Florida State University, and I'm on the Magnet Lab staff. My main interest is uh, the field of cryogenics. Cryogenics is uh, more or less the field that involves uh, cooling technologies below a temperature where most normal gases that we're familiar with which we're familiar, such as air, are either liquids or solids. So on a temperature scale, that's uh, about minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And the scale which we normally use is Kelvin. Uh, we start from zero being the coldest anything can ever achieve. The absolute zero is zero Kelvin. And cryogenics is uh, from approximately 100 Kelvin down. Carbon cryogenic liquids include liquid nitrogen, liquid helium, which we use a lot of at the laboratory here for cooling some of the uh, superconducting magnets. Liquid helium boils at only four degrees above absolute zero, so it is the coldest liquid on Earth. The unique features of these fluids are primarily that they're very cold and that they have to be contained within very special containers because they are so cold that they would evaporate and fill the room with cold vapor if you let them outside of the, these special vessels. So we have large uh, tankers that you may see here in the lab that are uh, for transporting liquid helium and liquid nitrogen around. And we have to use very special handling to transfer it so that nobody gets injured. What else are cryogenics used for? Liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen are the main fuels for uh, rocketry, such as the space shuttle. And these are in very large containers on the outside of the space shuttle that you might see if you ever see a launch over at Kennedy Space Center.